We're so integrated in our phones that we use them all the time, but we don't really know what information is being transferred or is being given or it's really delivered to these mediums, these companies that we use, and we don't really know that. We don't have a, a way to know that. Um, I, I would say use that app because uh, it's just an easy, an easy way for you to know what's actually being sent from your phone, an easy way for you to test these applications that you're using. It creates a Wi-Fi hotspot on your computer, and then you connect to it using your phone, and you're there. So at the University of New Haven Cyber Forensics Research and Education Group, we developed that app in response to a lot of security issues that we were able to find in social messaging applications. And really it was a response on our part for people asking, um, how do we test our mobile applications? How do we know if the data uh, that we're sending, like pictures and messages, are secure? And uh, we wanted a very easy way for people to be able to um, to actually to test their application. We wanted to empower the people uh, so they can test their own mobile apps. And that's why we created that app. So while playing around with different social media apps, we figured out that a lot of them send their data unsecured. This means that everyone who is able to intercept network traffic um, can read the data that is sent. Since this was a very complicated experiment, we decided to make it easier so that everyone can use it on a daily basis and analyze their apps. Um, and this is basically uh, the result of that experiment that we did and the, the outcome that is easy to use is called that app. As a student you want to learn and you want to work on projects outside of the classroom, not just be involved inside the classroom. So I felt that working on that app allowed me to, one, become a better developer and also give me, give me more knowledge on, on, uh, on the domain of cybersecurity and, and allow me to contribute to the, to the field. Our students are, um, you know, working really hard and uh, they're being in involved in what we really pride ourselves on at the University of New Haven which is experiential education and it's been uh, it's been something that's been really great for the students in order for them to learn how to develop um, software that can be used uh, in security and that also empowers people to um, understand their privacy and the implications of their data being sent all over the world. Um, that app uh, can show whether the traffic is encrypted over HTTP or HTTPS. It can uh, basically reconstruct images on the fly if they're unencrypted. Um, it can show you the location of where the data uh, or the servers that you're connecting to uh, on a map visually. So you could see where your phone is being connected to all over the world. And all of that really happens with a click of a button. And that's really what we're trying to push for. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll be something that's really useful to the community worldwide.